There's boogers in my nosey. Good afternoon. I just can't wake up before 3 p.m. I wake up at 3 p.m., which is 12 in LA, and my sleep schedule is just murdered. It's murdered. There's boogers in my nose. My sinuses are irritated, but it's okay because I'm not sick today. I don't give an F because today I'm giving my parents their Christmas present. Before I begin, I haven't washed my face yet. I literally just woke up and started vlogging. That's how comfortable I am, so I know there's crap all over my face. Also, I watched yesterday's vlog, and these three pimples I have at the side of my face are so gross, and it's so sweet that almost no one mentioned them. But when I was watching the vlog, I was like, I don't know what I have at the side of my face. It actually like, randomly appears appeared after Christmas, I think, where they're not like pimples. They're just like bumps. It's weird. So I need to like figure that out. Yeah, anyways, today I'm taking my parents for their Christmas presents. So what I'm taking, my fisty, shh, what's they here? Hold on, let's get in bed together. Shh, 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 shh. This is just an excuse to get back in bed. I am taking them to dinner downtown and I'm taking them to a musical, Matilda, which I have seen. I saw it in the UK. Last time I took them to a Latin musical and they loved it and they will never go to a musical on their own. So I'm taking them to a musical, which I'm very excited about. And then after that, on the way home, my mom has complained forever that she's never seen the Toronto sign. I know that's very strange because we live here, but my parents just don't go out and do things. So I'm going to take them near the Toronto sign and take some pictures there because she keeps saying she wants to go there. So that's what's happening. Thus, I'm not sick. I'm going to be okay because today's not about me. We have no choice. We're going to get up and have the best Christmas present ever. Lego. Look how dirty my mirror is. Wow, holy crap. I'm finally wearing my nose ring again because I don't care if there's boogers in my nose. It's happening. Worst part about being sick is you know how your lips get all like cracked and gross. Like that's the worst part about being sick. But I am ready to go with my new key. You know what I mean? I'm ready to go. I'm excited. Let's go check in on the rents. Daddy, excited? Do you have any guesses where we're going? Uh, well, first, you know we're going to dinner. Whatever it is, it's gonna be excellent. Oh, yeah, mom. Any guesses? I think it's a show. You think it's a show? I think it's a show. Okay, okay. First, I'm gonna feed you two kids. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Good. Good. I like masala. I like samosa. Adam Devine collab. That's what he's. <laughs> Pleasant. Sideways. Yes, there's a certain way you gotta walk sideways so you don't slip and fall. Oh, yeah. So dirty, it was messing with my montage. But we're here at Milestones. It's so dim. You can barely read the menu. You know, in rest restaurants have it so dim. I think I made a video about this. But we're picking what we want. As always, I'm just gonna ask the waitress, like, what's vegetarian? What's good? What are you gonna get, Mom? Um, the goal is to please my dad. My dad's. <laughs> boom! 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 Welcome to Dundas Square! Woo 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 woo! Oh cool! Alright, let's go! Time for surprise! Let's go! <laughs> you have one? Yes, I, I knew it's sure. Okay, Sala, so do you like Matilda? Yes! You like Matilda? It's so good! The little girl is so good! And oh my god! It is. Now we're taking mom's over where she always wanted to go! But no one's ever taken her! Toronto side! Toronto side! Let's see! Popcorn. So the evening is done, but because of time zones and the way things work out, I have not missed the UFC fight with Rhonda. And I don't know if you know this. I know like a lot of people get shocked when I say I'm a Rhonda fan because I just think she's done so much for the sport. And I know everyone's like, but girl love, but girl love. But she's this. I know I don't care. I think she's dope. And she's dope. And she's progressed women's wrestling or fighting, whatever you want to call it, just so much. And I don't know everything about the UFC. I'm not even pretending like I do. I don't know anything about her. But I just think she's such a revolutionary in terms of like that. Sport for women, and so I haven't missed the fight yet. I tweeted about it, and UFC messaged me, and they're like, Yo, we need to get you to a fight soon. And I'm like, Okay, forgot my Ronda Rousey shirt in LA. I fail. I'm gonna try to find access to this fight right now. Lego, 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 Lego. I mean, her fight hasn't started yet, but when it does, my girl, my girl, Yas Queen, Yas, tell them. Damn. So Ronda lost. 
in 48 seconds. That was intense. You don't give a F. First of all, I even tweeted this. I'm so proud of every single woman in the UFC because, dude, I remember a time when that wasn't a thing. The reason I'm so passionate about Ronda, even though I don't know everything about her, but I do know that she just made the sport so real for women and she dominated for so long. Shout outs to Amanda. Well deserved win, no doubt about it. But like, shout outs to every single woman in the UFC because within my lifetime, that was not a thing. And so, y'all bosses, but I don't give an F. Ronda, still mad respect, still mad admiration. There's no way you can hate on Ronda. Okay, she's done so much, but damn, that was, I feel bad for her. That was, that was, that was, damn, that was something. That was something. <clears throat> <clears throat> the time is 1 a.m. and I'm thinking that I'm gonna watch an episode of Jane the Virgin, maybe go to bed. My nose won't stop running. No medication, no anything will get rid of it. I keep putting like Vicks on my nose and like keep trying to keep saying blocked and think it's runny. It's just, <sighs> anyways, could be worse. Could have been in that octagon and my nose could have been broken. So, we thankful. <laughs> Are you thinking about me? Oh, I think I bit my cheek. Uh, oh, my nose is so weird and irritated. Yo, a thought just occurred to me. Because it's past 12 right now, even though I should say it's tomorrow's vlog, it's New Year's Eve, which means like 2016 is done. And I feel like 2016, 2016, I feel like 2016 just started. Holy crap, time really does fly. Gotta make the most of it. I haven't even really had a chance to like meditate on this past year. Like maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow. I put aside like two hours, sit by myself and just like think about this year, be grateful, really take in what happened and plan for the next year. Cause I haven't had a chance to do that. And I feel like that's really important. Don't do it through Instagram, through Twitter. I mean, if you want to post stuff, that's cool. But like, have a moment to just yourself as well, where you're like, yo, this is everything that happened. I acknowledge everything that happened. I'm grateful for everything that happened. I recognize this is what I want to happen in the new year, and this is how I'm gonna make it happen in the new year. And that's what I need to do tomorrow. Holy crap. That and wipe my nose and possibly not be sick anymore. But let's go to the toilet. Thank you for joining me on today. I'm so happy I got to take my parents out. I actually take them to Toronto sign. It was cold as hell. So I don't know if the vlog footage is like really blurry because my hand was like, it was, it got Toronto cold. Real, real cold, real, real cold. His book is in my nose and now they're to my brain. I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you for joining me on today. I hope you had a wonderful day. Just yo, enjoy the last day as you watch this. 2016. God damn. Time flies. Time just like, or you know, if there's a slappy bird, time just like, I can do that a hundred times because I never got past the first pillar. Anyways, until tomorrow, thank you for joining me on today. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. I'm about to put some oatmeal face mask on my face. If you like it, subscribe. Meow. It's very hard for me right now not to eat my face because it smells so delicious. If you're new here and you're like, what the F is going on? This is my second vlog channel. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking in the new year, I might do challenges on this channel. I haven't decided yet because you know I'm not the biggest fan of challenges. But if you'd like to see some challenges on this channel, let me know. And if you seriously don't give a F about that, let me know as well. Comment below. Let me know.